Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to organize and add links to your WordPress website. As of right now, I only have a default theme for this website, which I'll get to in a future tutorial. So right now, the placement of my links is located right here. It's called Blog Roll, and I have a bunch of different links here. These are actually pre-installed links that come with WordPress. But we can go ahead and rename blog roll, we can get rid of these links and add our own. And we can even add another section of links underneath this if we choose to. So in order to do this, we are going to go to the back end of our website and we're going to go to the links section on our menu right here. When we get here, you'll see all of those links that are listed on the website currently right there. These links you can edit or you can delete, just depending on what you want to do. But also, this list shows us some important things, such as what the name of the link is, where the URL is directed to, what category it's in, and if it's visible currently. Also, you can put a relationship up if it's like one of your websites, or if it's a friend's website, or if it's a coworker website, whatever you want to do with that. Anyway, so we're going to create our own links. So I would just advise that you get rid of all of these. So I'm simply just going to go here and just delete all of these here really quick. Okay, I deleted all the links and as you can see there's no links found. So now I'm going to go and add a new link located right here. In here you can name your link. For instance, as you like maybe the name of the website so I'll just put my website down incredible flash tutorials so there's the link the name of my website right there now for the web, web address you're obviously going to put the URL make sure when you do this you put in the HTTP colon slash slash before you go ahead and put your actual address in or else um, WordPress won't recognize it as a link the description um, is basically for your own use. However, it can appear when someone hovers over your link and it'll kind of give you them a brief description of what the website is, but that is optional. Down here, which we'll work with more in a second, is the category. You can put different links in different categories. Right now we only have the blog roll category, so we'll just go ahead and click that. And you can also add a category here right off the bat, just like you would with posts. But I will show you how to add categories in the actual link categories section in a second here. And right here, the target, this basically specifies how the link will open on the website. So if you put it as blank, which will probably be mostly what you do, it will open the link in a new window or tab. That way people won't leave your website and they can go back to it just by tabbing or going back to their window, to the previous window. So we'll just go blank for right now. And the identity, again, is just, again, it's optional, but this is just kind of for your own use too. If like, let's say this link that you put in is another website of yours, you can just click that and specify it. Or let's say if it's a friend, friend's website, you know, maybe just an acquaintance's website, you can just kind of put that stuff down. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave this as my website since that is what it is. So anyway, we scroll back up here the final thing you can do here is you can keep this link private so if you don't want the link to display maybe you only want it to display to certain people who log into your website something like that but for right now we're, we want it to be public so we want everyone to see it and we just click add link and it'll tell us that the link was added and now if we go back to edit we have the uh, link listed right here but let's say we don't want the category name blog roll. And if I go back to my website here really quick and just refresh just to show this, we'll see that there's blog roll and then there's my website. If we don't want the section to be called blog roll, we can change this. And we can even add another section as well as I said before. So if we go back to the back end, let's go down to link categories, like right here. Here we can add a new category or we can check out some of the existing categories we have. As we um, indicated, there's only one right now and that's a blog roll. So let's go ahead and edit that name really quick. We can just go to edit. And maybe we wanna change the name 
of this category to my other websites. Because maybe this will be the list of links that display our other websites. The category slug, as I have indicated in previous tutorials, basically will lay out what this category will look like in your URL. So when people, someone clicks on this category listing for your links, it will say the URL will display your website slash whatever you put in here. If you leave this blank, it will simply take from what you put in the name and just transcribe it into a URL friendly version of it. So I would just recommend leaving this blank if you're not really sure what to do there yet. As far as the description, you can um, leave this blank if you want. It's mainly for your own use, but depending on the theme you're using, it can display on your website, depending on, again, the theme. But we'll just leave it blank for right now. So there you go. We now have the name changed. And if we go back here to this website and hit refresh, then the category name changed to my other websites. Finally, I'll just uh, point this out really quick. If we make a new category, let's say for instance, we make one called other websites. And I know this is not really that descriptive, but we'll just do this for the sake of the tutorial here. So we have other websites in and what we can do then is go back to the links and add a new link. And let's quickly make a link here. I'll just make it to YouTube really quick. So we'll just name it YouTube, youtube.com, and we'll just make sure we put the HTTP in there. And here, now we can choose to put it in both categories if we wanted, but we'll put it in other websites. And we'll put it as blank, and then we can just go and add a link. Now, if we go back to this website and hit refresh, you'll see now that we have the other section with that link underneath. So you can create as many link sections as you choose and you know organize your links in that fashion. Anyway, that is how you work with links.